Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I made this AT's Wonderland sash. Now, if you've ever seen AT's concert outfits or you've ever been to an AT's concert, you know that Wonderland outfits are a staple for fans to wear. And the reason is Wonderland is one of the most iconic AT's eras in terms of music and fashion. And it's something that's really easy to put together, but it's also really highly recognizable. This was originally supposed to be my concert outfit for the Break the Wall tour back in November of 2022, but I chickened out and I ended up going with something else just because I did not think that I was going to be able to pull this outfit off and also because the venue had some rules about chains and stuff. This was actually really easy to make so if you are trying to get into recreating idol outfits from their performances, their music videos, tours, whatever, this is a really great place to start because it's super easy and you don't need any experience with sewing or crafting or anything to be able to make it. Alright, enough with the chit chat, let's go get into the tutorial. Here is a list of all the supplies I used to make the sash. Most of these were found either at Michaels, Hobby Lobby, or Joanne Fabrics, but you can also find similar things online as well. You can also swap out the black ribbon for a pre-made black sash if you don't want to go to the trouble of making that part yourself. These were my three main reference pictures. Now, if you look closely at the sash, you'll see that the pattern is a large chain next to a chain with longer links, followed by a space and finished with various sequins, rhinestone chains, and normal chains. And this pattern stays the same for the sashes of all of the members. The first thing I did was measure out the ribbon by wrapping it around my shoulder and having the ends meet around my hip area. After I got it to the length that I wanted, I cut it with a pair of fabric scissors. Now, I used a satin ribbon which doesn't have much strength, so if you want it to be less flimsy, I would suggest gluing some felt to the back of it to make it more sturdy. Then, I started preparing all of my other supplies to make the pattern. I cut the mesh rhinestone trim I had gotten so it was only two rhinestones wide to match the pattern from the references. This took a little bit of time because I wanted to get it as accurate as possible, so just play around with whatever supplies you use until you find something that you like. Once I was finished, this was the pattern that I ended up with, and it was actually really close to the original reference photos. To assemble this, all you have to do is add a strip of glue and put your chains and sequins down right on top, making sure to go in as straight a line as possible. If you end up using E6000 glue, I recommend doing it somewhere that is well ventilated or wearing a mask so you don't breathe in the fumes. This is definitely the most time consuming part and took me a few hours to fully glue down everything. To speed up the process, I used a hair dryer on low speed and low heat to help dry the glue faster. It took a lot of patience and consistency, but once I got into the rhythm, it was pretty easy and honestly kind of therapeutic to glue everything down. This is what it looked like once everything was secured with glue. The last step was to add some crosses to the actual sash itself. I used the jump rings the charms came with and opened them with some pliers, then attached a thin chain to the jump ring, and then attached both the cross and the chain to one of the chains on the sash. I repeated the steps for a smaller cross and connected the chain from the large cross to the smaller one. For a concert outfit, I would probably say to add tons of brooches and crosses so it doesn't look as empty and so it looks more like the original members' uniforms.
you guys enjoyed this video and I hope this tutorial will help you on your journey of creating one of these sashes. If you guys want to see me do more K-pop idol recreations, please let me know. I would love to do that, especially because I have a few that are already planned out that I want to recreate and try and make myself. So if you want to see specific looks or you know, specific concepts recreated, please let me know and I will check them out and see if I want to do them as well. Lastly, I want to thank you guys for being so patient and supportive with me. I know I haven't had as much content lately, especially in the past few months, so I'm trying to make more content for you guys so I have more to post so you guys have more to watch. So yeah, just thank you guys for being so patient and supportive and always being here on this channel with me. Once again, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. I will see you guys in my next video and until then, have a great day, night, week, month, whatever, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.